welcome back. Uh, we're up here on the uh, roof garden of Our Lady of uh, Holy Martyrs Church, right across the street from where I live, in uh, the Inwood section of Manhattan. Right now, it's a beautiful, sunny Saturday afternoon, around uh, 10 to 3 or so. We're looking at a view of the cloisters up there on the hill. Um, which is owned by the Rockefellers and uh, they sold it to the city of New York and now it's a very popular medieval museum. It's kind of creepy in there but it's uh, always fun to go around Halloween and uh, knock around in there. Uh, back to the garden. Uh, I think I left off at the Scotch Bonnets. We're doing really well and uh, I think I showed you those before. I got more Marugas scorpions, which have these huge leaves. Um, they're doing uh, very well. The greener, the better, I guess. I uh, gave them some phosphorus earlier this week to promote the flowering um, because it is getting kind of later in July and we want to start seeing some more fruits. So that's why I did that. I have sunrise scorpions over here that are just starting to come out and flower. And I've got lots of uh, Jalokias. I've grown a lot of those before. I have some in the greenhouse that are doing well. And the Jalokias are kind of slow this year. I don't know why, but uh, they're coming around. They'll, they're, they'll flower and they'll do really well. There's a new one I'm growing this year called uh, uh, Seven Pod Barakapur Trinidad. So I nicknamed it, named it uh, Barack Obama pepper. So this is for our president. So yeah, there's a Barakapur's uh, big uh, Congo Trinidad plant right there that we're looking at. More peppers, some banana peppers. And uh, over here in the U.S. Postal Service box, we've got uh, some basil growing. These U.S states postal service boxes are perfect for planting a lot of things they're lightweight containers they're easy to uh, carry around and if you ever run into a few extra ones um, I highly recommend uh, using it of course with the permission of the United States Postal Service uh, some budding sunflowers here more basil some impatience some cherry tomatoes growing here, more tomatoes, yet more tomatoes, tons of tomatoes on the roof this year, um, some huge basil plants and some uh, romaine lettuce growing down here that looks really nice. Uh, over here we've got some uh, banana peppers, yes, and I got corn, yeah, I'm trying to grow corn. I don't see any ears of corn. I'd recognize it because I picked plenty of corn when I was in high school. And uh, But I had to see some tassels here. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe I'll get corn. I don't know. Even if I get one ear, I'll be happy. <laughs> Corn's expensive this year because of the drought. So I'm growing my own. Hey, this is all sweet corn over here. Sweet corn may or may not come in. I planted it a little late. And uh, we'll see if it it comes in or not. Over here, I've got a bucket of potatoes. Potatoes you can grow in this type of container here that I've uh, got. You can uh, you can plant them in layers. You can always tell when a potato uh, is ready to harvest because they get tall like this. And uh, later on in the season, these flowers will die off, and they'll start to wilt. And as soon as the tops go, that's when you want to uh, go down and uh, harvest the potatoes. Uh, I got some uh, late watermelon that may or may not come in. And I uh, got some uh, cherry radishes. Picked some uh, this morning. Here's some more radishes here. So, yeah, man, that's uh, half of the garden. The other half of the garden is... Uh, Lots of eggplant. We've got asparagus growing. We've got a uh, greenhouse right here that's housing a lot of uh, flowers for the fall. And uh, maybe I'll just check into the greenhouse on our next section. All right, man. 
little view at Inwood. And back over to the cloisters, and we'll see you for part three.